seven o'clock already. Where is he? Where is he? I am. Um, ah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Good morning. So sorry. I didn't change the clocks. Got completely the wrong time. So as soon as my alarm went off, I'm here, but obviously I'm not ready. But yeah, I can only apologise. Have you seen your barnet? <sighs> Couldn't find a hat, didn't have time to look for one. Are you didn't do, you are aware it. of what it's looking like, are you? Is it looking alright? No, it's not. It's not on. Normally I would say it's on point, but not today. It's not on point. There you go. We're back. Better, isn't it? Welcome back to the Thank game. You. Good morning everybody and uh, welcome to another Sunday morning show Good with morning, your host, Lester. Lester Barnes. Oh yeah, hosting. And my special guest, Dan Hendrickson. Thank you very much for the invite today. <laughs> nice of you to show up, by the way. I wasn't on last Better week's late than show, never. was I? Hey? <laughs> I didn't make last week's uh, show. No, you didn't make last week's show. <laughs> never got the invite to Scotland, funny that. <laughs> so anyway, how has your week been? Because mine has yeah. been extremely busy. You've had a great week. Let's talk about your week. No one wants to hear about my week. Well, you've been part of it. Well, no, you no, haven't, actually, to be fair, have you? I wasn't in the week. It's so not... this week, I have been on a pretty impressive birthday trip. Not your not birthday. Not my birthday, <laughs> no. no. Well, it was my birthday at the end of the week, which yeah. was a tap-on bit. But tap-on, tack-on, tap-on, tack-on. Let's go tack-on. So we tacked it on at the end of the trip, which was my birthday bit. Added. Added on. So I've been up to, it's been a very good friend of mine's 50th birthday, and I've been up to Scotland. Well, I started off, we started off in Liverpool. We ducked into, we drove up, we um, stopped off at Royal Liverpool Golf Club, Hoy Lake, which is absolutely, it's one of my favourites. Then you were the Open? Then you were the Open. So much history. Um, as you know, I'm a massive fan of Bobby Jones. Like, oh, yeah. Bobby Jones is, you know. Your son's named after him. Well, well yeah, yes. I like that. <laughs> I, well, I've got a boy called Bobby, Bobby yeah. Jones. So, big picture of Bobby Jones up on the wall at Hoy Lake. You've got all the history with John Ball and Harold Hilton and those guys that were members of the club. And obviously, you've had amazing winners there. You... Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy's won the Open there. It just goes back. The history goes back. Do you remember the Callaway clubs that were Bobby Jones irons? Well, I remember you having them. I did, yeah. The Bobby Jones Callaway. Yeah. Callaway. But they, I think Bobby Jones had his own, I think, clothing company, possibly. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, so obviously mm-hmm. Bobby Jones won uh, a number of things. But he played, he played in the, I think, the first Walker Cup okay. at Hoylake. Hopefully I've got that history quite right. But anyway, Bobby Jones played. I'm sure people will correct you. I'm sure they will. (laughs) Um, Then we went up to Turnbury. Yeah. And we were playing in the Andrew Murray golf day, basically. A friend of mine, Alistair, is is a good friend of Andrew Murray. And we played the Bruce course. And then we played the Elsa course, um, which was and is still my favourite golf course anywhere in the world. Absolutely fantastic. I'll take you up there one day. Please. Yeah, we'll take you up. It's a beautiful sight, absolutely yeah. stunning, stunning. Do you want me to carry on? What with? Where I went next. Is everyone, is everyone awake? Or they gone to so the just, to to, just to sum it up, oh. Presswick, <laughs> Presswick, followed by we stayed at St Andrews, and then, play, and then, yeah. but we didn't play St Andrews. No. Right? But um, next time, yeah. next time we're at the place. And, and what have we been doing? Well, why don't you tell us? What have we been up to? What, tell them what we've been doing that since then this week. Okay, so. I worked in the shop. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so right, we've, had, we've had a couple of great days. We, we have had a couple of great so days. So we went to Cumberwell Park, which is in Wiltshire, uh, Wiltshire yeah. Swindon, and you did 10 three-minute video, teaching videos for Golf yes. Monthly. So professional photographer, proper director there. Um, so it's part of Titleist. Part of Titleist for your they TSI. asked me to go down to do with part of Titleist the new launch of the new driver yep. or the launch of the new driver and um, uh, Golf Monthly were there to do some three minute videos with me and I was nervous. You were yeah, verbal I, diarrhea. You had. I had verbal yeah. diarrhea all the way up in the car. But the reason why I was nervous yeah. is because it was a professional shoot. It's my oh. first ever professional shoot and I just. I don't know what it was. I think because they told me the videos that we had to create and I had kind of lines to do, it's, I was trying to memorize everything at the same mm. time. I had 10 videos to kind of try and remember what I was trying to do. And, and what was making me the most nervous was I didn't have any control. 
No, no. So normally I can switch the camera off. You are a control freak, to be honest. Do you think I am? No. But yeah, it was just... Yeah, it's out of your comfort zone, isn't it? And you're working with people that do that on a full-time basis. At the moment, we're not... We're not full time. We're not full time doing it. We're no. learning, aren't we? We're very yeah. much picking people's brains, um, get, getting as much information as we can, and we're learning on the job, really, yeah. aren't we? But what was great as well, when it was all done and dusted, was that um, how much they enjoyed doing doing the work with us. You know, they they just said it was it was just they enjoyed the day. They, they yeah. thought it was very professional what we'd done. So I was just like, it was a it was a really good experience for me. But that wasn't my highlight of the two days. No, it wasn't. Was no, it? no, no, it wasn't. Tell them that was a long. Tell them what. Tell way them way. what you lost sleep over. Okay, so um, well, I didn't lose any sleep. Someone did <laughs> quite well. Yeah, Someone Lee did. did. <laughs> Lee was a little. Lee, Lee was more excited than I was. Lee got a little bit starstruck. Did him. yeah. We were um, so from there we obviously stayed in the travel lodge. Um, Premier Inn. Prem- was it Premier Inn, was Premier, it? Yeah. yeah, no biscuits in a Premier Inn. No, no biscuits. What is no, that all about? I know, disappointed. I don't think I've ever been to a Premier Inn and not got biscuits. No, so we were disappointed with that. So I will leave them a negative feedback on TripAdvisor as a result of that. Uh, yeah, you know like, how to get half, on TripAdvisor? Half a, half a star off for that, I think. Half a star. So we went from there, we travelled up, went past Reading, didn't we? And we carried on going towards London. I don't know where we went, M4 Basingstoke, was it? I don't know we went where to where. Bearwood Lakes. We went to Bearwood Lakes. I remember where we just went. Out, literally just outside Reading. Is it? Just outside just Reading. Just outside. Um, we went past Reading. What yeah. a place. Never been yeah. before. Been we Cumberwell enjoyed, before. Yeah. Cumberwell was good. Cumberwell, Lovely. what I liked about Cumberwell is how they've expanded again. Yeah. Like they've got 45 holes there now. I mean, it's just phenomenal. And the par oh. 3 course that they've created as yeah. well. Yeah. But bear with bear bear lakes. lakes. What a place! And we did some filming and a bit of work for Bushnell with with the legend. You know, building he's this in up. There, isn't he? You are he's building this there. up, Peter Finch. Yeah. And what a nice bloke he is. Top bloke. He put up with us for eight hours eight on hours the golf course of, of me, yeah. you, and Lee filming. So giving him a lot of abuse. You were giving him some abuse, but yeah, yeah. I think he enjoyed it. He gave it back, though. To be fair, yeah, he, he had he had got a bit of banter. That he lad. has got a lot of yeah. banter. Yeah, he and was... they say the Normans haven't got any banter, but he did have some banter. He had a bit of banter, didn't, didn't he? he? So we Dan played nine holes against him using the wingman. Yeah, we had um, a Bushnell Bushnell outing. So that, that will be on his channel, I think, maybe four or five weeks time. Mm, I think more like two and a half, two weeks, two and a half weeks, possibly. And then we invited him to play golf and vlog nine, nine holes. Nine holes. Um, with me, Dan, and, and Lee. Yeah. You told me to go on best behaviour today. Oh well, I not did. To upset You're right. Pete. Yeah. So yeah, you yeah. said. I know, I know. I've done right well, so far. You have. You've kept, yourself, you've kept yourself nice and quiet. <laughs> I am now allowing you to go okay. for it. All, all right, cool. Yes, oh, that's the shot. That's the shot, everybody. That is all it needed. A bit of, that's, bit of fuel in his fire. That's it. That's exactly how I pictured it. Oh, you know. oh he's in. Look, look, look. <laughs> Come in, in guys. That's a nice shot. Oh, I'm about to show you my flopping. It means a lot coming for you, Pete. Thank you. Oh, yeah, right. I appreciate the, I appreciate the shot. Yeah. That was a good shot. You, that was a so, good. That wasn't just like a bomb up and stop. That so, was a crafted So shot. am I the worst scratch golfer on YouTube? You're a scratch golfer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I led him in brilliantly there, didn't oh, I? Love yeah, it. yeah. Love it. County youth champion. <laughs> what? <laughs> we fired loads of questions at him. Yeah, we loads did, of we did him pick well. his brain, didn't we? Yeah, but he was great. Brilliant. Absolutely us. fantastic. Really open and honest with everything that yeah. he kind of came back with. Gave us lots of advice as to how we can help grow the channel and do what we're doing, and um, yeah, I mean it was just a good day. And 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 the from my point of view, I just wanted to gain a good, you know, relationship, friendship yeah, with him yeah. that we can then call upon him in the future and do maybe do some work yeah. together again. Yeah, yeah. So if you don't follow him, there'll be a link somewhere here. Make sure you follow him. Yeah, follow in him, the yeah, description. I'm, I'm yeah. probably sure most of you do, but yeah, yeah he's a he's, he's a very player. good, very good. Exactly how he is on camera in real life. A- absolutely, he is yeah. Very, uh, just a down to earth golf pro, really. Yeah. You know? So, what have you got? Have you got any questions? I've got a question for you. Yes. Okay, this one's been a bit on the back burner for a little while. Mm-hmm. It's from John Francis. Unfortunately, right. he doesn't use Twitter or Instagram, so he's not a follower, but he does watch the channel and he does enjoy yeah, cool. it. Hello. And he's a seven handicap golfer, it is John. Yeah. Plays at East Sussex, and he has a set of Titus AP2 710s. Plays well with them, but they are dink, chipped, and the grooves are wearing thin. Uh, he wants to replace the clubs, but can't afford the 600 plus on a new set of irons. From your perspective, is it worth spending money to refurbish old clubs, or am I better off looking at something a few years old on the second-hand market and trying to find something that's close to the setup I want? 
Well, point number one, how, I don't, do you, can you refurbish irons? Like, what, yeah, I mean, what's the process? Yeah, right? You know several, more about this than I do. So there's several companies that will um, will refurbish your irons. So what do so they do then? They re-chrome them? They re-chrome them, you can change the colour of them. Um, right. James's brother had a, had a set that he changed, completely changed the colour of, so he went James. for the... James, our assistant, okay. James Urquhart, yeah. well, not assistant, but yeah. teaching pro. Coach. Coach, James. Coach Jamesy. Yeah. Um, his brother bought an old set of clubs and basically had changed the colour, yeah. Okay. So he had them done in like the gum metal, the dark and sort of yeah. finish. Well, if they're in good order, then I would suggest that yeah. you can do that. I assume it's got a bit of expense It was expensive, it. yeah. I mean, yeah. it wasn't cheap and he had some um, the, shaft The concern, I, I have a concern with buying second hand on eBay and things yeah. like that. Um, and, and it's not that I've never done it because I have done it, but it's like buying a second hand car. You don't yeah. what's happened to it over the years no, no. but if I was probably buying a second-hand car um, I would go and get it probably serviced by somebody that I know yeah. so if you're buying second-hand equipment then you know try and or go and see your PJ Pro and just ask them to just check it out get the lofts and lies checked yeah, those I sorts mean, of things you know we have people come in and say look I, could, I would want a new set of clubs I want to yeah. change my minds. I haven't got the budget at the moment so one the pro might be able to do a payment plan possibly uh, if it suits him, you know, you might be able to pay a little bit more for your for your clubs, but have a payment plan set up. Yeah. Um, he might also have some ex demo stuff that he wants to move on. Yeah. He might have. And she, she might. Or she, yeah. yeah. They might have um, some second hand stuff that someone's yeah. trading, etc. So if you let them know that you're looking for something, and if he's in no rush, they might be able to help. They might be able to help. Yeah. Um, but chances are they will be able to help. And I personally, the second idea, if you're going to buy it online. I you buy lots online. I avoid eBay like the plague. Right. Because there's a lot of fake stuff on there. There is lot There's of a lot of idiots on eBay selling stuff and buying stuff, and I can't bother with the hassle anymore. Yeah. So I use Golf Bidder, which I find so much easier. Yeah. You, you can buy stuff off them, you can sell stuff off them. They give you a decent price for your, your, your stuff you're trading in. Yeah. But they also, all the stuff they've got has been checked, it's been rated. It's been described correctly. Yeah, um, that's handy. And I find them so so easy to deal with. So I would look on Golf Builder, put in what you're looking for. You know, you might be able to get a set of irons, you might be able to get an AP 712s or 14s, a slight upgrade on yeah. what he's got. Um, plus, they'll take his 710s in as a part exchange or wow, trade. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So uh, good luck with finding your new clubs if you decide to go down that line. So this week on the channel, we've yeah. had Tor playing yeah. Will. Yes. Well, firstly, congratulations to Will. He's, um, I think people have been following his progress, but he yeah. finished really well up in the first stage of his qualifying. I think Did he was third, third, top third, three. Top yeah. three, which so he picked up money if you get in the top three. Yeah, so that's good. So, and then he went on to final qualifying, which I think was this week before last. Yeah, yeah. Um, weeks ago, yeah. And he made the cut, so it was two rounds cut, and then a final round. Um, Unfortunately, in the final round, he sort of slipped a little bit. Yeah, he did. Terrible but, start. But he gained a card. But he gained his card, which was, yeah. which was the which main the objective. objective. So he's got a bit of playing rights for next year. I don't think it's a full card, but it's pretty much there or thereabouts. So he'll get, he might still get some, maybe some early starts, but then as the season progresses, he'll get lots more invites as he which goes along. Which is great. So yeah. for his development, he's, he's starting on Euro Pro, hopefully. Yeah. He'll keep um, going from there. But yeah. I think, do you not think that the video that we've put out this week, the, se the little yeah, three-part really series, has definitely helped him? progressed him forward a little bit, playing golf so. with the likes of Paul and yeah. James and sort of putting him under a bit of pressure because that was yeah. a bit of pressure there because obviously the camera's on him, he's yeah. on a golf course he's not comfortable with. Golf, that golf course is, is it brutal hurt as you. well. Yeah, which it hurt yeah. him. Yeah. You know, so I did, I, I, do, I did like that series. I enjoyed editing it yeah. and putting it together. It was, it yeah. was a good series that. It was um, something a bit different to a normal course vlog where yeah. we're, there's more banter and the golf is probably secondary or third, you know, it's, it's down the pecking order of what we want to produce, yeah. whereas that was more or less all about the score, wasn't it? It was, yeah. Um, and then point to Poles F. Yes. And we got to talk about it, because it was another fantastic game yeah. against my brother and Will. A um, little bit disappointing at the end for Will to hold oh, that birdie part, putt, yeah. but I, pff, I thought we'd He's got lost it. his tour card. He's lost his bus tour card, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. If you're gonna go and get yourself a tour card on the main tour stuff, yeah. you don't get on the you bus don't get, tour. No, you're gone. Yeah, you're but gone. yeah, I enjoyed that. It was a good. Yeah, day, it was good. It? Golf was decent. So people thought we actually won at Thurston. We didn't, <clears> but we didn't. We actually got we a half. We felt like we did. We felt, we felt like a big win, but uh, we got a half. So they are actually one. We've got they're one and a half. We're half. Yeah. So there will be a rematch. We're just not sure where it's going to no. be yet. 
or the format. We might have to change the format to give us more of a chance. Yeah, we might have to get we'll a shot. We'll have to, to, we'll we'll have to find shot. out what we're going to do, aren't we? Yeah, I could. Any suggestions? Gratefully received. Yeah, 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 yeah. Any more suggestions on yeah. games that we play? That would be great. As Maybe well. we could blindfold them. Yeah, that'd be good, wouldn't it? <laughs> that'd be Spin good. them round before they got hit. It. Us playing football, then playing forces. <laughs> yeah. We definitely, work, yeah. yeah, we definitely beat them. Then. <laughs> Hope so. We're not that bad. Are we? <laughs> so, what's coming up on the channel this week? Well, this week, Lester, we are in Wales and we are at the Rolls of Monmouth Golf Club. Which have you played that? I've never played it now. Oh, it no. is so good. It it's looks, a bit it like a awesome. bobby. It's a bit of a bobby castle. Is it? Yeah. It, the Rolls of Monmouth is a beautiful estate. Uh, obviously just outside Monmouth, which uh, is where we stayed. So we've got myself, Lee and Paul, and we've got a new format, new little game that we've played. And yeah, we had a good time. So it should be, it should be a lot of fun. It should be a lot of fun. And um, it was, yeah, me taking on my brother as well. Yes. A hint of me taking on Paul, which again, goes down to the wire a little yeah. bit. So, um, so yeah, so we're gonna be in Wales um, this week. And then, um, yeah, so it should be, should be a fun week coming up. So, so just a quick one, we um, are still looking for questions. It's, for me personally, it's so much easier if you email me, because um, they're on my phone, I can see them straight away. Instagram, they get lost, and Twitter, they get lost. So if you, if you do want to ask a question for me or Dan or both of us or, or about anything, mm -hmm. um, golf-wise, not life in general, because we're not doing too well at that. We're not. Well, I'm right. not. Yeah, we're, um, we're learning. So my email is lester underscore barnes at hotmail.com. Which is probably somewhere it's down here. It's going to be down here somewhere. going to be down there somewhere, yeah. Uh, or obviously you can comment in the comment section down below. Yeah. Have you got anything else you would like to report for this week? No. Not at all? No, have you? No, I've got nothing. We're done then. We're done. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. We look forward to catching up with you again next week, and uh, see you later. See you soon.